So in this lesson, we are going to create Grafana dashboard using JSON data source. So here you can see I have this API and I'm just going to show you the structure of this API. So I have this temperature endpoint and if I hit it, I'm going to get temperature of all the countries. And by default, it is going to return me temperature only of last 15 minutes. Now, let's say if I want to get temperature of any specific country, in that case, I can just write country equal to USA, for example. Now, if I do that and hit enter, you can see we are going to get temperature only for specific country that is USA. And other than this, I also have from and to filter. If I apply that, I'm going to get data only for specific time range. For example, in this case, we are getting data only between this time duration. Now here you can see in the from filter and to filter I'm passing the date time in Unix epoch format because that is something which is recognizable in Grafana. You can see in Grafana we have this uh, from variable. This is a global variable which we can use in our endpoint. So basically I'll be able to pass this from and to duration dynamically in these URLs. That's the reason I have designed this API in a way. Now here you can see the code. This is just a basic uh, flask API which I have created with the help of chat GPT. And here you can see whenever we hit the URL you can see this is a huge URLs are being passed to the this API and this returns the data. Now here you can also see an example where we have passed multiple countries and a time range. For example, if I copy this and hit on the browser, so here you can see now we are getting data for USA and Canada. So basically we are getting data for multiple countries and between some specific time range. Now with the help of this, we are going to create some visualization in Grafana. So first of all, I'm just going to copy only until temperature and we are going to hit this API. Okay, so if we hit it, this is the result which we are expecting. So let's move on to Grafana and first of all, we are going to create a data source connection. So I'm going to go to connections, add new connection and here we need to search for infinity. Here you can see we have infinity data source. So just select it and then you might need to install it first. In my case, it is already installed. So that's why I'm getting option of add new data source but you might be getting an option of installing it here. So just click on install and after the installation is successful, you should be able to see this add new data source option. So just click on add new data source and then here are the some configuration which we need to do. Now to be honest, if you are just hitting an API, you don't really need to make anything here. So in this case, I'm just going to change the name of this data source. I'm just going to call it JSON API data source or JSON API DS. This is fine and we can click on save and test. Now here you can see we are just getting success message. This is fine. You can now go on and click on building a dashboard and then we can click on add visualization. Now once we do that, you can see this is the data source which we created. So let's go ahead and select this. Now once you select this, you can see this is the builder which we are going to see. Okay, you can see we have various options such as what is the type of data. In this case, it is JSON. So I'm just going to leave it as JSON. But this plugin is quite powerful and you can actually pass various type of data such as CSV, TSV, XML or other data formats using this panel. For now, we are just going to stick to JSON. Now here you can see there is some default URL which is coming by default. I'm just going to get rid of this and we are going to use this API which we have created. So let's go ahead and paste it here. And once we do that and change the focus to somewhere else, you can see right now we are not really seeing the data. Okay. And the reason for that is it is saying data is missing a time field. So if I see our API, you can see we do have a time field, but Grafana is not able to recognize. So what we are going to do is here you can see we have an option of parsing option and result field. Now here we have columns. So I'm just going to click on add columns and here we are going to specify everything. So here we know we have have a time column so I'm just going to call it time and this is formatted as time so I'm just going to select time here and then we are going to add another column and that other column is going to be either country or temperature okay so we need all of these so I'm just going to select country and country is a string so we are going to leave it as it is and then we have temperature and temperature is a number so we are just going to select number. Now we can go on and click on refresh dashboard. Now once we do that, you can see we have started getting data. I'm just going to change it from last six hours to last 15 minutes or last 30 minutes. So here you can see I'm selecting last 30 minutes, but by default, I'm getting data only for 15 minutes because here, as I explained you, if I just hit this API, I'm going to get data only for last 15 minutes. Now, another thing which you can see here is that even though we are passing data for various countries, our panel here is not able to show the data for each of the countries. Country. So it means we also need to partition our data based on country. So we are going to apply some transformation. So let's go ahead and click on transformation, click on add transformation. And here we are going to partition it by country. So I'm just going to search for partition 
and here you can see we have, have an option of partition by values so let's select it and here let's click on select field once we do that we should be able to see country filter so let's select country field and once we do that we are now able to see all the countries which are available so now let's go ahead and click on apply and let's go ahead and save this dashboard as well let's just leave it to new dashboard click on save now you can see we are able to see the data for various countries now if you notice if i change the time duration to let's say last 15 minutes or maybe last six hours data doesn't change so the reason for that is because this time filter is not being passed in the url so we need to make our api endpoint dynamic so i'm just going to click on edit and you can see i have this from and to filter so i'm just going to select it or rather we can just select everything here i'm just going to go ahead and paste this one so here you can see we are having from equal to and this is a grafana variable which we are using so here you can see in grafana variable documentation these are the variables which are available which we can use if you want to use any other format you can go through this documentation and you can decide what is the variable which which is best fitted and which is best suited for your requirement so in this case we are going to use from variable and to variable so that's the reason here you can see we have from and to filter now as soon as we apply that filter you can see data here is already changing so if i go ahead now and select last 30 minutes we are going to get data for last 30 minutes now let's go ahead and click on apply now let's say we want to apply filters on any of the countries as well so we may want to select any specific country or we may want to select multiple countries or we may want to select all the countries so in that case we can go ahead and click on dashboard settings we can create a variable let's go ahead and add a variable and here we are going to leave it to query because we are going to create a dynamic variable and here we need to name this variable so i'm just going to name this variable as country since it is a country filter but you can name it anything now here we need to specify a label so this label is going to be shown to the user this can be something like select country and now if we scroll down you can see we have an option of data source and here we have query type so it is legacy we need to set it to infinity so once we set it to infinity you can see we have an option of providing the api here as well so in this case i'm just going to again copy this and i'm going to paste it here so basically in this api we are interested in getting name of all the countries so here you can see if i scroll down grafana is actually smart enough and it has already filtered out all the available countries but just in case in your case let's say if it doesn't show the country or it doesn't show the field which you are looking for in that case you can again go to parsing options and result field and here you can go on and add the columns for example let's say rather than applying the filter on countries maybe i wanted to apply the filter on various uh, temperatures in that case i could have just just copied this temperature field and I can go on and paste this temperature field here and of course we can change it to number if we scroll down here you can see we are able to see all the available temperatures but of course in this case it doesn't really make sense to use temperature so we are going to go ahead and use country so i'm just going to change this field to country and we are also going to change it to string if we scroll down in the preview you can see we are able to see all the available countries now we can go ahead and click on apply let's go ahead and close it now here you can see we have ability of making a selection of the country now you will notice even if i change the country the data doesn't change because in the query we are not really using this country filter so we are going to edit this panel let's go ahead and edit it and here we are going to also use country field so we are going to do ampersand country equal to and we need to use country variable so i'm going to do dollar country now you can see depending on the item i select i'm going to see the values only for that particular country so let's go ahead click on apply and here you can see I'm just going to go ahead and filter on France so I'm able to see data for France let's go ahead and filter on Canada so we can see we are able to see data only for Canada and now both the selection for example this country selection and this time selection is working fine so I can go ahead and see the data for last three hours you can see we are able to see the data for last three hours and if I change it to different country we can see that as well now you can use this variable in the title as well for example right now it is showing panel title I can go ahead and edit it and here also we can change it to maybe let's say a dollar country and i'm just going to write hyphen temperature let's go ahead click on apply so here you can see depending on the selection the title is also going to change now currently we are able to select only one countries if we want to make it multiple item selection we can go ahead and click on dashboard settings go to variables and go to this variable which we created scroll down and then here we need to select multi value let's go ahead click on apply let's close this now here you can see we can select usa and germany and once we do that you can see we are able to see data for usa and germany i'm just going to make it last 15 minutes so you are able to see the data clearly now of course i can go ahead and select 
all the countries now this is quite time consuming let's say if you have list of all the 190 or uh, six countries or maybe around there are around 200 countries so if you have list of all the 200 countries and if you want to see data for all of those it's going to be quite time consuming to select each of them one by one so what we can do is we can go to dashboard settings again we can go to variables go to the variable which we created scroll down and you can see there is an option of include all option so we are going to check this as well and then click on apply then close it and now here uh, it is not showing as of now so we need to just refresh it once and before refreshing it is better to save the dashboard so let's save the dashboard and then refresh it and now if we see in the filter we have an option of selecting all so i'm just going to select all and you can see now we are able to see data for all the countries if i want to choose any specific country i can go ahead and choose only a specific country now let's say if we want to see max temperature of any particular country or all the countries we can do that as well so i'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it and i'm just going to go ahead and and edit this now in this case we don't need time series let's say we just need stat and here you can see it is just showing some random temperature we are going to go ahead and apply a transformation so after partition by values we are going to add another transformation and that is called reduce so here you can see you can reduce this for any min max or average value so let's go ahead select it and here we are going to change it to reduce fields and here we just want to see max temperature so we are going to leave it as it is now let's go ahead click on apply so here you can see this is the max temperature for USA I'm just going to go ahead and move it here now let's say if I select multiple countries you can see we are able to see data for multiple countries here now of course I can go ahead and select all in that case it is going to show me maximum temperature for all the countries so this is how easy or simple it is to basically visualize JSON data using Grafana infinity panel if you have any specific query please feel free to write in the comment box and I'll be more than happy to answer thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next lesson